I think there's some genuine interest here because there's some incredible questions. We've got one from Deepesh who's asking, as a data scientist, there are situations when the prediction output is expected to support a business decision taken by senior executives. Uh oh. In that case, when the explainable model gives out a prediction that doesn't align with the stakeholders' expectations, how should one navigate through this tricky situation? <laughs> that's where explainability becomes your friend, uh, Deepak. So because, uh, you know, that's actually that the, the hippo decision making, the highest paid person, you know, uh, in, in the office, right? Hippo, yeah, it's called hippo decision making. So, and so that exists in many industries. It, uh, and so, um, and, and it's, yeah, uh, so, so when when your model's decision model prediction does not match with with this you know senior leadership's decision, you can then go and explain here is why that is the case because they generally would not naturally ask you know, hey like I don't think my intuition tells me this or my experience tells me this right, but you can actually open up like the model and look at like tell them you know and they can actually play with themselves. For example, let's take this simple scenario. So let's say I'm a very experienced underwriting officer in a bank. I'm like 20 years of experience underwriting loans. I know what makes a good loan, what makes a bad loan. Now, suddenly a new loan comes in and it's marked as, you know, very high risk. And I think like, no, it doesn't look like high risk. I have approved these type of loans in the past. You know, why is the model saying it's high risk? Now, if you can actually explain that, you know, saying that, hey, the reason why is because this person's, you know, loan amount is so-and-so or this person's, you know, FICO score is so-and-so or, you know, his previous debt is so-and-so and whatnot. But... And then also provide more examples, you know, say, hey, these were all the other loans that look like these loans that we actually denied in the past and they were actually bad loans or uh, or we actually approved them, but they turned out to be bad loans or where they can, you can provide some ways for the person to actually, you know, you know, you know change like variables and, and make it make sense of their own uh, self. And so this obviously becomes like a collaborative exercise. Now, in some cases, the model could be wrong, right? And this is where explainability becomes important because, you know, when you are designing the model, if you have not selected the right data set and whatnot, and, and the subject matter expert can actually be right, and they might be able to guide the model building process. Um, in cases where the model is right, then they can actually correct their own intu in kind of intuitions. So it brings both parties together, and, and that's the beauty of it. And by opening up this black box, you actually not just like have like the data scientist telling that this is what the model is doing. And in the past, that used to be the case, right? In the past, when, when I worked with data scientists, when I would ask, you know, what, what's this prediction? And they would be like, I don't know, the model said so, right? <laughs> so so that that both like kind of, you know, takes away the credit, right? Uh, and, and we understand as an engineer, we understand, yeah, it's actually hard to understand, ask, answer that question. But, you know, but but having that opportunity to expose that insight, you know, brings multiple parties together. We can actually have a dialogue and have a consensus to move forward. Great answer. And this is a bit of a tangent, but I know that when we as humans, they did a study on us, when we see something that comes from a computer or a machine, we are much more likely to believe that it is true. And so you get into these situations like, oh, well, the model said it was this. Right. And so you just take it for granted without actually right. digging behind and saying, is it right? I mean, I'm sure the people on this call they don't just take everything with uh, without a grain of salt. But for the majority of people, we're used to calculators putting in numbers and spitting out an answer, and right. it is the right answer always, you know? And if it's the wrong answer, it's because of something that we did. It's not the other way around where the machine learning model is just doing something, and then we get an answer, and we're not sure if it's right. So 